Hi there everyone, if you're like me and you own a Toolkit RC LiPo charger that's not balanced charging, you can update the firmware using the following process. Now one of the first things we need to do is we need to check what firmware version our charger is currently on. Now all we need to do is to turn it on and take a look at the main screen. This happens really quickly and as you can see it has already passed. If you look at the bottom right you would have seen the firmware version. So let's just shut it down and power it up again. Now pay attention to the bottom right. Sometimes it struggles to get the power in there but once it's in it powers up quite quickly. Take note. As you can see it's version 01. 1.01. .01. Now that I know what the firmware version is on, I can go and connect the charger to my PC using the supplied micro USB cable. On the back of the charger, you're gonna see a USB port. Just connect your cable to the rear of the charger and then connect it up to your PC. Now, once you've done this, the PC should auto detect the charger and you'll notice there's an extra drive in your computer, like a flash drive. Next step is to open the Toolkit RC website. In this case, you can see I just typed in Toolkit RC website plus the model number, mine's 4MQ. Now, you'll notice that the site's not gonna open automatically. This does not always happen. It could be traffic based or internet speed or whatever. But in my case, I'll just open another tab and try and open the website again manually. Now, sometimes you can open a couple of tabs and just wait for it to load but in my case I prefer to rather just stop and reload the page and all you need to do is just select one of the tabs click stop click reload and then just see if the page loads if it loads then great if it doesn't just try it again in this case it has opened so I can close my other tab and you notice the site's very slow probably because it's flash based just scroll down to the bottom as you can see, this is the model number for my charger, but if you have a different charger, the process remains the same. And you can see that is the old version of the firmware that we know we're on, and we want to go to the latest version. So I'm just going to click the download link. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to click cancel. Once you're done, open the file, then unzip it using whatever file you use or what program. In my case, I'll use 7-zip. Once that's done, you can just open the folder, navigate to the files itself, and you'll see there is a manual that directs you how to do it step by step. Now, there are two options. The first one is to follow the automatic batch file, but the other option is to do it manually as well. I'm gonna show you both, but me personally, I'm a fan of using the manual option because it's even simpler than using the automatic option. Now, as you can see, that's the file as listed in the documentation. And all we need to do is we need to double click the batch file and it's gonna pop up on our screen and we can follow the steps. Now you can see in the manual, there is a manual option and there's an automatic option. All you need to do is just double click the file and it's gonna pop up. Now in this case, you can see um, it just pops up like that and it's just a copy command. And all it's going to do is going to copy the file from the desktop to the flash drive, which is your charger. You just need to press enter and it'll copy the file over. You can even go to the uh, flash drive or your charger and you'll notice that the file has been copied over. Now the other option is you can literally just go to your folder, uh, select the file and drag and drop it over. And that would be exactly the same thing. So once that's done, just unplug your charger and then power it up again. That's it. Once it powers up, it will automatically proceed with the flash of the firmware. Now we already know that my charger was on version 1.01 .01, and it has to be on 1.02 now. And there we go. Very quick, but it's there. Now we can move on to test the charger. My charger was not able to balance charge 
it was just charging to uh, well, full and then it went into a done state. You can see it says fast charging done and it's still continuing to charge. So in this case, it's still going to balance charge that last cell until it's fully charged. There we go, a few hours later and it's fully charged.